Patterns of Culture by Ruth Benedict, originally published in 1934, played a significant role in shaping anthropological thought. Benedict popularized the concept of cultural relativism, advocating for understanding other cultures on their own terms, rather than imposing our own standards. Additionally, she contributed to the development of the culture and personality school of thought, exploring the relationship between culture and individual personality. Following in the footsteps of Franz Boas, Benedict considers culture as a mental phenomenon that is learned, shared, and integrated. However, she goes further by investigating what brings coherence to a culture. Drawing on psychological theory, Benedict proposes that each culture possesses a unique personality type or worldview, that influences the attitudes and behaviors of individuals. She refers to this pattern as the gestalt or configuration of a culture. The book's structure revolves around three main focuses. The first three chapters establish the foundations of cultural anthropology, defining culture and providing case examples. Benedict challenges the prevailing belief in the biological basis of culture and instead argues that mental processes are shaped by cultural influences. This viewpoint was particularly significant during the mid-20th century, when Western civilization was often seen as superior, and scientific racism and Nazi sentiments were prevalent. The second focus comprises three chapters, each dedicated to an in-depth case study of a specific culture. The Zuni of New Mexico, the Dabuans of Papua New Guinea, and the Quakeal of Vancouver Island. Inspired by Nietzsche's writings on Greek tragedy, Benedict identifies two dominant personality types, Apollonian and Dionysian. The Zuni exemplify the Apollonian traits of order, seriousness, and restraint, while the Quakeal embody the Dionysian characteristics of joy, wildness, excess, and pleasure-seeking. The Dabuans exhibit a combination of Apollonian restraint and Dionysian mania. These case studies represent extreme personality types and are not intended as a topology for all societies but rather as illustrations of how Benedict views cultures as personality on a larger scale. The final two chapters delve into the topics of social justice and deviance, positioning Benedict as an early proponent of feminist anthropology. She explores the treatment of individuals who deviate from mainstream norms, highlighting that what may be considered abnormal in one society could be accepted or even celebrated in another. Benedict criticizes American society for its cultural intolerance and attributes the rise of psychopathic behavior to a rigid, hyperconformist culture lacking empathy. She argues that embracing cultural relativism is necessary to challenge existing paradigms and foster a more tolerant, inclusive, and self-aware society.